Guys, before we get to our walk, I have a question for you guys. Please stay till the end of this video. The topic in this video is very near to my heart and I have a question for you guys and I hope that you have an answer. Hey guys, it's a decent day out here. A little cool, I got my jacket on. Got my way to vest on though. And it is overcast, but according to Dr. Barry, we can still get our vitamin D in even if the sun's not shining through the clouds. But hey, guess who's with me today? Oh, Chris is with me today. Remember, I had said, guys, y'all need to pray. He'll come out and walk with me and get, get out here in the, in the sun. So here he is. And I'm happy to have him with me. I'm excited about that. Hopefully he'll do this more often too. Well, guys, in this video, I want to talk more about mental health. And can a ketogenic lifestyle, more specifically carnivore, help mental health? Well guys, I'm going to start with this. I've got two prayer requests for those of you who pray. The first one, be sure to pray for uh, Cassie from Carnivore Quest as they put out a video and you know she's facing the possibility of colon cancer. And, you know, she, she had, the last update I heard was she was cho choosing to fight this through, you know, diet, you know, carnivore. Uh, but, you know, when you're facing that kind of a diagnosis, I can only imagine how scary and terrifying that must be. So, when you pray, just remember Cassie in prayer. And then the second one is my nephew. Now, I told my mom, or not my mom, but <laughs> his mom, <laughs> that I would not mention his name on the video, so I won't. And that's okay, because God knows his name. But, you know, he's facing his own mental illness right now. And he is, uh, got a lot of depression, and I guess maybe it's the word for, is not allowed, so people call it deleting themselves, or unaliving themselves, and I guess I'll try to say that instead so I don't get in trouble for using the proper word for it. But anyways, I um, guess he's struggling with the having a lot of those thoughts. So he is seeking help right now, which is good news if you want to look at the positive side. He's acknowledging he needs help. And uh, so he's in the center right now, hopefully receiving that help. But in terms of this whole situation, it's really made me think more about mental health and can a carnivore way of eating really help people with mental health issues because a lot of the leading doctors in the ketogenic space believe that eating a ketogenic lifestyle specifically more so in carnivore can really help with uh mental health and the reason for that is is because when you start eating that ketogenic lifestyle you start improving your metabolic health you get rid of that carbs and sugar and um, the inflammation, even in your brain, starts to go away. And in doing so, it helps your brain do, function as it's supposed to be. That chemical in, uh, imbalance that you're having becomes more balanced. You know, that's why people get diagnosed with bipolar, autism, Alzheimer's, dementia, and the list goes on and on, e even down to just depression. It's a chemical imbalance in your brain. And you know, for my nephew, um, I, I don't really know the exact reasons of what's leading him to have these thoughts. Um, he's not felt like he needed to share with me and I don't ask because, you know, that's his decision. Um, I do make sure he knows I love him, but um, Whatever it is, it seems to be circumstantial for him. And, uh, you know, sometimes, guys, life just sucks. We can't always live on a mountain. There's mountains and valleys in life. And we have to go through them both. The good news about it is, is the valleys don't last forever, right? But sometimes, them valleys seem like they do last forever. Especially when you're a teenager, like my nephew is. So whatever is going on in his mind, whatever it is, he must really feel that, you know, 
there's he can't break away from it, you know. And I need him to see and understand that whatever it is, it's temporary. It's in the past, whatever it is, you know. But it makes me wonder if he ate a ketogenic more carnivore, would it help him navigate these feelings, these thoughts in his head? I don't know. Guys, carnivore does not cure everything. And like I just said, life just sucks sometimes. And we all get a little depression from time to time. But with him, it's not just a little depression. Guys, it's human nature in us to want to live. So for someone to think about deleting themselves to the point that they cannot shake the thoughts and they seek out help themselves, which I'm so thankful he has that about him, that he's acknowledging he needs that help, okay? But still, it saddens me that he's having these thoughts so much that he needs help. That I mean, be honest with yourself. In your, in your whole life, has that thought ever come through your mind? I bet it has. It may have just been a fly-by passing thought, though. Nothing that you really gave thought about. But some people out there, they can't shake that thought. And we know that it does happen. Some people do follow through. <clears throat> now, I hope my nephew does not, and I hope he gets better. A lady had shared a video, and right now I can't see the name of the video, but I'll put it in the link in the description below. It's an hour and a half long video, guys. <laughs> but it's an interesting video, and it's, um, I think the doctor in that video is Chris Palmer. And he talks about how he believes the ketogenic lifestyle really helps with neurology and psychology, um, even with just depression. And so, I don't get a vote in what my nephew eats. I, will it, would it help him? I hope so. But I hope he tries it. I hope his mom, you know, tries. And gives him a more of a ketogenic way of eating and see if that doesn't help some help him some I don't expect because his depression is is more circumstantial and not because he's got a, a, a disorder going on up here but if it would help clear his mind up if it would help him navigate those thoughts and deal with them it'd be worth it besides better health right which is why a lot of people have disorders like bipolarism, um, autism, uh, uh, sort of the A. I can't think of the word. When you get older. Help me out here, Chris. Alzheimer's. Thank you, Alzheimer's. <laughs> Maybe I should get myself checked out. Guys, I enjoyed our walk, and I want to say that I have heard, like I said in the video, a lot of people saying that, you know, eating a ketogenic lifestyle will help mental illness. But I've got to say, I've not seen any testimonies from people saying that they have put in remission or reverse or improved on their bipolar or on their um, ADHD or their autism or uh, you know, depression, and I'm not talking about a little sadness. I'm talking about the type I talked about that my nephew is going through right now. And if you guys experienced anything like this on your journey, or you know someone who has, and they're they have a video on YouTube somewhere, tell me about it in the comments below. It's really important that I have that information that I can share it with my sister. Because if this will, in fact, help my nephew, I really want to know about it, okay? Um, and and I, the ones I heard talk about how it's helped their anxiety, and that is not to downplay. I am so glad that people are getting help with their anxiety issues. It's not a downplay. But right now, I need the testimonies from those who got help because they were so severely depressed, they wanted to delete themselves. But then... Eating uh, a ketogenic lifestyle, going into carnivore, helped them. So, guys, if you do have an answer for me, please put them in the comments below. 
appreciate you guys so much. My friends, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.